Hi guys, happy Monday. Yes, it's Monday, 16 of November. So I decide to start making or start filming like, like the next uh, video vlog this week. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, I am not sure if I'm going to film all the full week, but um, at least I want to show you some things I'm working on um, these days. So you already see uh, in this little introduction I made, uh, this quick and fast introduction, uh, that finally I received my Cricut. Um, I decided to both uh, do both a Cricut um, two weeks ago, uh, mainly because, um, as you know, guys, I am making like this nail mail uh, tier on Patreon, and I, I have uh, very uh, not so many patrons on these tiers. Uh, I think they are two or three right now. So uh, making like um, twenty uh, stickers for these uh, patrons. Um, I think that it's um, what I'm trying to say. It is that it's quite expensive to produce uh, in a third uh, part uh, the stickers uh, because I have, as they are exclusive for Patreon, so they only, only patrons that are, that are subscribed to these tiers are going to receive this sticker. So if I have to make like a minimum of 20 or 30 um, stickers, um, I think it isn't sustainable for only two patrons or three patrons. So, also as I am making like a sticker for my shop and all this stuff, I decide to invest in the Cricut machine. Uh, so now I can make like the stickers I want and the stickers that I need uh, for the shop, um, for the patrons' email. So. This is like a huge investment, but in the same time, I think it's the best because in the end you're spending money or wasting money uh, in products that you're not going to sold uh, anywhere. So I thought that it was like the, the best option for me right now. I decided to go for the Cricut Maker because um, um, I didn't tell you about that uh, right now. I mean, at that point, uh, patrons know what I'm working on, uh, but I think that now it's time for to share with you uh, like these things because I'm going to put these products on the shop soon. And the truth is that I decided to go for the maker because I saw it cuts uh, the bass boot uh, very well. Um, and very neat. I mean, the the cut of the bass boot is very neat. And as I plan to make uh, boot pins, guys, um, I have been making like the, the clay, uh, the clay pins uh, before. You already see it on other videos. Um, but I decided that making the clay um, was like a very time, a lot of time consuming, uh, making the shape of the of the cats in that case. So I decided to make them in wood and I decided to make them at home. So this is um, the thing is guys that it is, I'm very excited with this thing um, because with the Cricut I can make uh, all the shapes I want. So this is an open uh, mind for me because I can do a lot of things. So this is um, the shape I'm going to show you guys. Uh, this is like the shape uh, of the cats I'm working on. Uh, I have to sand a little bit this one, this baby. So I put uh, two boot, ta boot tables or boot uh, to make like three millimeters uh, thickness. And I think it is going to look pretty cool. Also, I changed a little bit the idea uh, for the varnish. At the beginning, I had been using an, an UV varnish. So this is an old version of the cat. Okay, you see like the varnish um, makes some bubbles and I had to make three coats of varnish to get like this brightness. Still, I'm not happy with how the brightness of these pins uh, and maybe I should try for a fourth coat, 
but I'm not sure. Uh, truth is, guys, that I used two types of varnish. Uh, the first one was an spray, uh, no, airbrush, airsoft spray, um, spray. Okay, I don't know in English the name, but I had been using uh, the Liquitex Liqu Liqu um, varnish uh, for like making a first coat for protect the paint because I am using uh, the Posca pens uh, for making the pins. And as with the clay pins, I had the problem of the smudging thing um, for the uh, paint. I decided to make like this first coat um, of the pay of with the spray thing and then with a pencil um with a pencil not sorry with a brush uh apply the other um the other coats of the varnish i have here the varnish i'm using uh this is the one i applied with the uh, brush so this is the winston and newton okay winston and newton artist acrylic uh I tried this with the regular uh, the regular acrylic paints and it works uh, so well and not for the not for the uh, not for the I'm sorry guys uh, not for the Posca pens uh, because the paint at least the color black it's it's much it's much a little bit so no not a little bit a lot <laughs> so so that's why I decided to make like a first coat of the spray and then add some coats with the other. Uh, maybe it's not a bad option to do that uh, this way, uh, but um, I wanted to try another thing. So uh, yesterday I bought um, a resin, a UV resin that dry uh, with the sun and air, so I don't need to have or to put the resin on a UV lamp so I'm going to try that to see how it looks and if I like it and if I don't like it I will continue with this type of varnish system I'm making maybe another coat so this is like the safety pin I'm sorry guys um, this is um, like a test and it's not well it's not polished at all I mean but well this is how it looks and I love uh, how the pin, uh, the boot pins looks. Also, I'm so happy to for investing in the Cricut Maker uh, for doing that because I can do all other type of shapes. Um, I can make the shapes on Illustrator and then um, and then paint it uh, with the Posca pens, and I can do a lot of things. Uh, this is an example. This isn't finished yet. Also, is a test of how it looks. Uh, but this is like a monstera, a monstera leaf. Uh, this is all for now, guys. Um, I wanted to show you these things because I'm super excited for uh, these pins and the next pins that are, that they are going to come. Uh, I'm going to finish uh, sand, sanding, sand papering these ones and start working on um, this month's stickers for patrons. Uh, I don't know why it's so close to me the face <laughs> so i'm going to show you a little bit of the drawing process for um for the sticker i already had the sketch so and i'm pretty happy with the sketch um because i love <laughs> how it looks and i'm going to show you how they are looking so let's go to work guys
this is uh, what I have right now. Um, this is like the base color I have for the sticker, for this month's sticker. Uh, I decide to go through these uh, reds and oranges and this icy blue. Uh, I have to finish to make like some text here, like write the text and see how it looks. Uh, also, I did a little bit of, oops, of the um, uh, shadows. Thinking to make a uh, Dean too, because obviously it, we have like Team Jess and Team Dean. I don't know if I'm going if I'm going to have time to do both of them, but at least I wanted to make Jess because Jess is my favorite from all the time. Um, I think it's time to go to lunch and then I'm going to continue with some commissions. In case I didn't see you today for more, um, see you tomorrow. And if I decide to continue with the painting this afternoon and filming some of the process, um, I will catch you uh, there in the future. So, bye guys. Hello guys, happy Wednesday. I need to buy the Posca pens, uh, the new Posca colors that I need. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have been working on this morning. So this is the idea uh, for the boot pins. Um, there, I wanted to make like a potions. I can, I sh think I can show you. A uh, spell book, a uh, Hogwarts letter and potion, the Felix Felicitatis. So the first idea I came with was the spell book. I had um, a very similar spell book um, that I did recently for the witchy hat uh, prom list for Inktober. So I get base a little bit on, on this. Um, I need to check that how this type of shapes can work with the Cricut. Uh, also, I have this one. Uh, this is like the Felix Felicitatis uh, potion, but I instead of um, adding like the proper name, I decide to um, put some happiness here because I think we need a little bit of happiness, uh, guys, <laughs> these times. I want them to look like uh, simple designs because I have to paint them uh, by hand. So I want them to be um, like a simple plain color uh, base uh, pins. So I decided to use uh, some of the colors that I already have, like the lavender and the aquamarine uh, green. But I will need uh, some orange and yellows. And for the book, I want to do like um, this color here, guys, uh, like a navy blue. So these are the colors I plan for these pins. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Um, finally, yesterday I didn't continue filming anything. So I'm sorry for that um, because I was working on some stickers for Patreon and for the shop and I totally forget to grab the camera and film. Uh, but I want to show you today uh, what I did and maybe we can do another sticker together. So I think it will be like fun to see how I do them. And, um, but okay, I'm going to show you guys uh, the things I did and, and work together in a new sticker. So yesterday I print um, some stickers to test uh, in vinyl paper. These are vinyl people and um, you see the quality of the image. I'm quite happy. Uh, with the result and uh, well I, I also print uh, this one this one is going to be on this month's um, uh, package for patrons and then uh, I turn like the designs I did um, on the morning you remember guys the sketches uh, so I made like this spells for dummies uh, book uh, that I totally love and this little potion, uh, this potion is, is inspired on the Felix Feli Felicit Felicitas or something like that. I don't remember the name exactly um, from Harry Potter. Uh, you see, guys, the problem I had 
with the um, white border and I didn't know that I had to calibrate the Cricut so at the, at the afternoon I was calibrating the Cricut uh, for a long time uh, until I get like the proper um, cut so I need to reprint uh, these ones and also the books because uh, some of the books have like a lot of white here and on, on nothing of white here so this is like the result I'm, I'm pretty happy with them to be honest and the thing is that I want to turn these two uh, into boot pins so I'm going to follow the same uh, shape that I have uh, and then cut the boot with the Cricut and then after doing that at night I decided that I wanted to do more potions but instead of potions I mean I put here happiness so I came up with the idea of creating like this type of potions with feelings like happiness or true love I want to create more of this type of uh, stickers and boot pins where I don't know if I'm going to do all of them as boot pins I'm going to show you first uh, these because uh, this is the first idea I had that you see print already then I came with the Amortentia potion uh, from Harry Potter but then I changed it uh, instead of Amortentia uh, it's going to say true love so I think I'm going to work today in another potion so you can see uh, how I'm how I do them
are the stickers you can see that they are looking super amazing uh, also they are super shiny guys uh, you can see how shiny and glossy they are also the print quality is awesome so I, can, I couldn't be happier with my printer and it's the first time that I make stickers with it and I'm super happy of the quality uh, of the product so I'm going to mm, cut them and see if all my efforts um, for the um, calibration of the Cricut uh, works. For making the stickers uh, in a die cut mode, I I am trying the light cardstock uh, and I set up more pressure than the uh, than the one that came. <laughs> Uh, with the light cardstock, um, I have a thing that they are um, kiss cut, not uh, die cut. So I have to try another material. Uh, I'm going to try this one, the heavy cardstock, um, to see if I'm going to set up more pressure on the cut and make it uh, more deeper. So I'm going to try that, guys. Now they are kiss, um, die cut, sorry guys, now they are die cut. Uh, I had some problems with the machine and the, um, um, the more pressure in some areas, like this one, for example, and this one. It's the calibration, but uh, it, it still um, have this slide, you know, you see guys that here we have less uh, wide and here I have more and I need to know why this is happening because I calibrated the machine yesterday and it's not happening in all the illustrations I mean now these are better cut than the one I did uh, yesterday and I don't know what's happening this <laughs> Happy Friday! Uh, today is going to be the last day filming this vlog uh, because I want to update it uh, next week uh, and it's, it's going to be the last week of November. Um, so today I have been doing or preparing, um, more properly said, um, the things to make like the cutting of the boots for the cutting, the boot for cutting, um, like the boot pins with the potions and the book. Also, I have to receive the package with the new Posca colors that I bought uh, for making like these pins. And I want to show you also a little bit of how I made um, or, or the materials and the process I do for preparing um, the boot uh, project. So I'm going to switch the camera so I can show you everything um, better. So for making the pins in boot, you will need the pieces the sheets of wood uh, this case is bass wood here you can see it's uh, 20 centimeters up and 10 centimeters wide this is 10 and this is 20 and 
it's 1.5 uh, thickness so this is like the perfect the perfect size for for the Cricut uh, also um, maybe you see that um, they are soft um, they are thinner but what I do is attach um, two pieces of boot so I bet you can see the union of the two pieces so with this one I have a three millimeters um, wide pin so and they are quite resistant you see that they don't bend on anything so they are super resistant guys I already have here the bass boot uh, sheet attached I'm going to go back here okay so I have attached here uh, the pins uh, the new shapes um, I made for the pins and now this is charged This is how it is uh, cutting all the pieces. So it's going to take a long time. Uh, at least you can see here, uh, it has 40 cuts. So it's going to take a while. So while, the, while this is cutting out, um, I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint these little babies. are already cutting um, you can hear the machine here but I received the Bosca bands uh, so I'm going to show you the uh, colors I choose um, for these ones so we have here the package I already opened it here sorry for the mess guys um, I have been uh, I have been doing uh, some photos to the clay pins uh, because they are on sale on the shop uh, because I want to get uh, I want to uh, sell them so let's see the colors okay so you see that I both <laughs> I bought a lot of colors for this, um, so also different sizes, smaller. So yes, I bought all of them in 3M. So we have the red, uh, dark blue. This is the coral pink. Um, I really wanted to try this coral pink uh, brush um, marker from the beginning, so I bought them. Uh, I also bought. Uh, gold one because uh, I want to do some cool things for Christmas uh, so I bought the the gold I, I can see the gold is uh, smaller 
1 a.m. Oh, okay, this is another size. 1 a.m. I wanted uh, this to be like the smaller thing uh, or, the, or the smaller tip I found. Um, so this is a brown color. This is a uh, clear blue, uh, light blue, uh, light blue, light green, and light orange. Uh, and the yellow is the sunshine yellow. So this is the color I bought. And then I bought these ones that are the 1M Air. 1M Air R. 1A, 1M R. Okay, this is so complicated to me to, 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 uh, to say. But okay, this is this type of nib. It's the smaller that they have. Uh, so it's a... 0 0.7 and I decided to go uh, with this in the um, black color the orange color and the pink color I need them uh, to make some details maybe I need to buy or I will need to buy another one in this size but let's see uh, okay these are the colors I bought this is a completely mess guys um at some point, uh, the 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 strong grip didn't. Um, I mean, the boot move on the grip, so it starts cutting where it isn't. And I don't know, guys, if I'm going to solve that. Also, it's not good at all. I'm going to try to get rid of some of these um, with the cutter uh, let's see if I can uh, do the same at least I want to save uh, one book two books and let's see if I can do the same for another so so I see guys that it is more complicated than I was thinking of um, I'm going to try to make the potions without these shapes. You see, maybe this shape here, but not these ones. And this part here, this is also problematic. So I have to get rid of these uh, areas too. I don't know why here it's coding well, but here it's clearly, uh, here is clearly having some problems. Uh, okay, guys. Um, I'm going to change all of these. I'm going to crave with the courier to see if I can save something. And with this epic fail with my pins, uh, the new pins I want to do, not the others because uh, the cat pins are looking... Okay, no, you're not seeing them. <laughs> uh, the cat pins are looking pretty nice. You see them? I decided to paint the border, the border in different color than the main shape. So, uh, so I was sorry, I was so close. Uh, so they are keep looking. You see uh, the colors. So they are looking pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to um, put the first coat of varnish to save the colors, and then I'm going to try. Um, the resin over the varnish because I don't I'm not feeling very lucky today so I'm going to make something for sure that I know that it's working like the spray varnish over like this and then apply the resin over and with this little mess I'm going to do my best to solve it so thank you so much guys for following this vlog I uh, hope that in this little adventure from the boot pin making, the making, the boot pin making, uh, you see something interesting and maybe you can, if you have a cricket maker, you can uh, make your own pins if you want. Uh, I will do more videos about that because uh, obviously I have a lot of things to learn too and and see uh, and see some trip trips tricks. Uh, tips, sorry, and see some tips for making things easier. Uh, I will be researching this on YouTube to see to see how things can work. So, thank you guys uh, so much. You are amazing, and see you on the next vlog. Bye bye.